In this lecture, we are going to learn about the database in MongoDB, how to create it, use it, and delete it from MongoDB server. A database is simply a storage in MongoDB server, which is going to store all your collection which you create in that database. And to work with MongoDB, the first basic need is to have a database and collection in place. So in this lecture, let's learn how to create and use database in MongoDB server. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. So here I am in the MongoDB shell and this MongoDB shell is a client which we use to connect and work with MongoDB server. Now, if you want to check the list of all the available databases in the MongoDB server, you can type show DBs command. When I press enter, here you can see that it has returned three databases. This admin database, config database and local database. And if you want to check which is the currently selected database, you can simply type db command. And when you press enter, you can see that it has returned test. So the currently selected database is this test database. But we don't see this test database in this list. That's because this show dbs will show only those databases which has at least one collection and in that one collection it has at least one document. But this test database does not have any collection. And to prove that, you can type this show collections command and this command will show you all the collections which you have in the selected database. So if I press enter, you will notice that nothing has been returned. That means this test database does not have any collections. And that's why it is not displayed in this database list. Also, always remember that this test database is your default database. So if no database is selected, by default, this test database will be selected. And to select a database and use it, you can use use database name command. So let's say I want to use local database. For that, I can use use local. So this will make this local database in use. As you can see, we have now switched to local database. So you can use use database name command to switch to a specific database. And now if I type db command, it will return local. So this db command returns us the currently selected database. So when we use use database name command, if that database is existing, in that case, that database will be in use. But if that database does not exist, in that case, MongoDB will create that database and then it will make it in use. For example, if I say use and then sample DB, this sample DB database does not exist in MongoDB server. So what MongoDB server will do is it will create this sample DB database and then it will make this database in use. So if I press enter, you will see this message switch to DB sample DB. That means first this sample DB database was created and then it was made in use. And if I go ahead and if I type show DBs command again, you will not see this sample DB database in this list. That's because we have created this sample DB database just now. And this sample DB database also does not have any collection and it does not have any documents. And we learned that this show DBs command only show those databases which has at least one collection and in that collection it has at least one document. So to make this sample DB database appear in this list, what we need to do is we need to add a collection to this sample DB database and in that collection we need to add at least one document. And to create a collection on the database, we can say db dot. So here this db is pointing to the sample db database. And in that sample db database, we want to create a collection. So we can say db dot collection name. Let's say in this sample db, we want to create a test collection. So this will be the collection name. Now this collection currently does not exist. But if I go ahead and if I use dot insert one, so this insert one is a method which we use to insert a document in a collection. So what MongoDB will do is it will create a new collection called test. And in that collection, it will insert a new document which we pass to this insert one method. So to this insert one method, we need to pass a document as its argument. So to pass a document, we can specify curly braces. And inside that curly braces, we can specify fields. 
so let's say this document has a field called test and it has this value one two three if i go ahead and if i press enter this document has been inserted inside this test collection so first of all this test collection will be created inside this sample db database and in that test collection this document will be inserted so if i go ahead and if i type show collections command and if i press enter you can see that in this sample db database we have one collection which is this test collection and if you want to query this test collection you can see db dot collection name which is test dot find so this find method will return us all the documents which we have inside this test collection currently we only have one document inside this test collection if i press enter you can see that that document has been returned here so we added this document with this field test and its value as one two three and that's what you will see here but along with that field we also have this underscore id field so remember that whenever we insert a document in a collection and if we don't specify this underscore id field explicitly mongodb will implicitly add this underscore id field for that document and it will assign that underscore id field with an object id but we can also specify this underscore id field explicitly all right so now in this sample db database we have one collection called test and in that collection we have one document so now if i go ahead and if i type show db's command and if i press enter you can see that now in this database list we can also see sample db database so remember that when we use this use database name command if the database is existing in that case that database will be in use but if that database does not exist then mongodb will create that database implicitly and then it will make that database in use okay so we can create a new database using use database name command like we did here finally if you want to drop a database then on that database on this db which is currently pointing to this sample db database you can call drop database method if i press enter you can see that this sample db database has been dropped so this db dot drop database will drop the currently selected database all right let's go ahead and let's clear this shell by typing this cls command this is all from this lecture in the next lecture let's learn how to create and use collections in mongodb